change your life in the future. Getting better would change my life. I want to have kids more than just about anything. <laughs> I want them to grow up in a world that's kind. Why can't we change? Why can't we be kind? Hey, Jeff. Hi, how you doing? Kevin, good morning. We spoke for Life in a Day back in July of 2020. I, re I remember. It's a long time ago now. So much has happened since then, Kevin. It's incredible. 320,000 videographers, 192 countries uploaded video for your competition or for your project. Um, this is the ultimate expression of personal art, isn't it? It's do-it-yourself filmmaking. Yeah, it's do-it-yourself filmmaking. It's unlike any, any other kind of film that can exist. You could only do this in the last 10, 15 years because before that, people didn't have access to, you know, video cameras and internet to upload it and to be able to share it. So this is like the ultimate modern form of cinema. I've heard life in a day has been described as the beauty of the ordinary. <laughs> that's that's a pretty good description, you know, because I guess what this film is doing is that it's showing that people all around the world, the huge similarities that they have in the things that are important to them, the things that they value. And I think that, um, you know, when you as a viewer watch this, you think, well, I can imagine myself there. I can imagine myself doing that. I can imagine myself doing that. Um, and that's somehow really uh, reassuring and beautiful to see, actually. Now, I know this is a loaded question, Kevin, but is there any submissions that really stood out to you? Uh, any that comes to mind? Oh, yeah, so many that stick in my mind. Uh, I mean, there's an incredibly impactful and sad one where, uh, a lady in Colorado called Suzanne, Suzanne, who filmed something for the first film 10 years ago, she films the, a TV screen showing her original submission, which is her son, who's a teenager, in bed. And she's yelling at him, saying, get out, get out of bed, you know, don't lay around. And it's very funny. And then she switches off the clip, she pans the camera around, and we see an urn. And she says, this is my son now. And her son died in February of COVID. So that was an amazingly impactful um, moment, obviously brought home the, you know, the impact of COVID, but also in a way made me feel like this is a family of filmmakers now who have been making, you know, the first film, and the second one, and it's made me want to go on and do another one in another 10 years to see how people's lives have changed again. With so many incredible moments uh, coming in for life in a day, was it your sole decision to decide which made the final cut? <laughs> no, this wouldn't work if there was a committee because we'd, we'd still be in, in the foothills, as it were, because there's so many decisions you have to make because, you know, going from that many 14,000 hours of material down to 85 minutes, which is what the film is, you know, it's a lot of decisions. But uh, I did have three editors who worked with me who, uh, you know, had slightly different points of view, and that's really good. We could argue about things a little bit, and that's, you know, really helpful. Um, but in the end, yeah, it's, it's, it's my decision, and I'm trying to just aim for the most interesting characters, and some of them come back several times, so you follow them through these 85 minutes. So it's not just clip, clip, clip. You're going through the day from the middle of one night to the middle of the next night, and you're following these various characters on their journey through the day. So there's only three editors credited for Life in a Day. <laughs> Tell me about logging the footage. What a, yeah. what a challenge that must have been. Yeah, we had to have a team. We had a team. So so there's myself, there's the three editors. And before that, the people who had to really just sift through, you know, sort the wheat from the chaff was a team of like 50 people who were all around the world, who spoke multiple languages, of course, uh, who viewed all the material as it came in and who then put it into a database, logged sort of, you know, key aspects of it, you know, how well it was shot, what the, what characters appear in it with and of course they also gave it a star rating from one to five five being amazing and it has to be in the film and one being don't bother opening this file again um so so we watched my the editors and i we watched all the three four and five material which was around 500 hours are you planning up for another edition of life in a day in the future you know what for sure i now think that this is uh, I, I feel like I'm the custodian of a kind of, 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 a, of a great enterprise, you know, that actually this to go back to this every 10 years to meet some of the same people, but also just to see how attitudes have changed, how people's uh, attitude towards their phones and the Internet has changed. Um, I think it's an amazing time capsule. And I think if, if any of your viewers 
go back and look at the original film from 2010 and compare it to the new one, it's a really interesting thing to see how the world has shifted even in those in that decade. You know, when I watch Life in a Day, Kevin, it reminds me of like the, the spacecraft Voyager that launched 45 years ago. It went out into outer space now, left our solar system, but there was a gold disc on there that was kind of like a, uh, a welcoming and an introduction to the human race. I think Life is in a Day would be just a perfect uh, addition. That would make my day. That's That would be the dream of any filmmaker, wouldn't it? I mean, imagine what it's like. I think the Beatles are on that, aren't they? And then there's hello in like 75 languages or something, isn't it? On the gold record. The first Life in a Day 10 years ago, we had it for real in Sundance and we brought 20 of the contributors from all around the world, from Japan and Peru and everywhere. Uh, this time we were going to do something similar, but of course there was a little thing called a pandemic and it, the whole festival has gone uh, online, gone virtual. So we did something similar with some of the contributors on a Zoom call. People watched the film and then they could talk to myself and the contributors on the Zoom call. Well, Kevin, congratulations on Life in a Day. And uh, it's just an amazing accomplishment. And good luck at Sundance. And we'll talk again soon. Yeah, great. Nice to talk to you again, Jeff. Bye. Bye.